I don't watch Tim K, and most people know him as just someone whose whole channel is owing to Harold. But we got a lot of requests for a video on him so here it is. Tim like Harold scans his comments section like a hawk, so anyone who posts anything he doesn't like gets blocked, so this is the only area we'll be able to discuss the truth about him and his videos. To begin, people are very uneasy with this middle-aged man's relationship with the poor tiny Philippines girl who is less than half his age. They say that from watching his videos, it's obvious that this huge, heavyset man doesn't have any emotional connection to the tiny 18-year-old Philippines girl that he is currently sleeping with. He talks to her like a toddler, they say. His alias in the pickup artist forum has been discovered. He used to post under the name of Washed Up Vet. This was how he met Harold and Bald. They got in touch with each other on the pickup artist forum and met up in Moscow. I will include a link to his posts in the description below. In his Rouge V forum pickup artist posts he described the Philippines girl as a 7, i.e. 7 out of 10 in the looks department. And he also called her a spinner. He even boasts to forum members how he quote, broke her in, unquote. He talks about her the way other people talk about an animal on a farm or a slab of meat. So the attraction appears to be purely physical. Which is not surprising since the girl is fresh out of school and grew up on an isolated island. And Tim K is already a father and nearly 40 years old. I know some people love to beat up on him for his looks and his weight. I don't think that's constructive. He is out in the outback of the Philippines to exploit a poor Philippines family to sleep with their tiny teenage daughter. He knows these people are desperate financially and it's a way he can get in to get what he wants. Older men are known to visit Philippines in large numbers because it is a country where men who cannot obtain sex in other countries can easily obtain a young girl. The Philippines has an epidemic of abandoned mixed race babies. A university paper estimates there are a quarter of a million abandoned offspring of US military servicemen in the Philippines right now, and it is growing. Sex tourists to the country frequently get young girls in the Philippines pregnant and then abandon the children. Even the US ambassador admitted that 40% of the male tourists to the Philippines visited the country for sex and nothing more. Tim Kemp and members of the pickup artist community like to differentiate themselves from sex tourists but it's amazing to note how they seem to congregate in the exact same countries. Countries where the local population is extremely poor like the Philippines and Ukraine. I guess according to these guys that game just works better in countries with poor women. Funny how that works out because if game only works in countries where the people are poorer than you then it doesn't seem to be game at all. Just financial and passport leverage which is all sex tourism is as well. I've always been confused how offering a poor Belarusian worker 6 bucks to blow you like Bald did can be constituted as game and posted up on a so called pickup artist forum. Bald also talks about paying a drunk Ukrainian woman 20 euros to sleep with him in another post. This is a funny interpretation of game. Aren't so called pickup artists supposed to rely on skill and charisma? Not paying money or washing machines. No wonder it doesn't work in other countries. These men do some mental gymnastics to tell themselves the young girls they caught are in love with them for their personalities. Coincidentally, the same personality that millions of young women in their home countries don't want. And coincidentally the same personalities that young women who have their own money and don't live in relative poverty stricken countries don't want. Tim loves to constantly paint himself as the victim. Saying he is a black sheep in his family, lamenting how he is a victim of a leftist government. And he tells us he is supposedly a victim of his wife, who he says took their child and won't allow him contact. The truth is there's always two sides to every story. So what side is he hiding? Well, his wife went on a video to accuse him of skipping child support payments. And she claimed he is an alcoholic. She says she feels sorry for Chrissy because she knows this relationship will end badly for this naive teenager that Tim is sleeping with. Even though the 18 year old girl he impregnated is carrying his child, I am positive he won't ever marry her. As the saying goes why pay for the coconut if you can get the coconut milk for free. In his Rouge V forum hosts he described how he wanted a white wife. He tried to get a white wife in Russia because he said he couldn't get one in his home in California. But it didn't work out. The 18 year old girl's father is a Philippines fisherman and as poor as dirt and the girl's mother went absolutely hog wild when Tim bought them a new washing machine. 
Their friend also went crazy when Harold gave them a few hundred bucks. This amount of money basically served as a de facto dowry, commenters say, for Tim to slide into their good graces. They are people on the bottom rung of the socio-economic ladder, and Tim Kemp knows this and is exploiting it, so it appears they don't have any leverage at all to get him to commit. What can they really do now? After all, if Tim decided to up and leave after he's had his fill of their daughter, absolutely nothing. He will stay as long as he gets his rocks off, and he is using the girl to get views and for sponsorship, but when it dries up or he gets tired of it he will walk out. Furthermore, his good friend Harold has even recommended against marrying Filipinas saying they are the most dishonest people in Asia, so he is most likely to have privately warned Tim Kemp against this move. Maybe if his channel takes off Tim will try his luck in Russia again. Anyways, what do you think? Is Tim Kemp exploiting this teenage girl and her poverty stricken family for his benefit? Or is he a good guy who changed from a man who specifically wanted a white wife to someone who suddenly were colorblind progressive? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And make sure to like the videos so they can show up higher in search results to alert more people. Thanks for all the new subscribers, as we have blasted well past the 500 mark, including Steffi Baxter and Bacon420. Comments of course remain mixed. Primark fumes. This video is ridiculous. The man was found not guilty by a jury of his peers as set out in British law. MD Soares says they are furious right now. They will do everything in their power to shut your channel and hide their past. John Parks adds, Eh, I like his videos, but this shit is crazy good gossip. Finally anonymous around the world simply writes, Awesome channel.